Yes, uh, welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, uh, March 4th, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit today. We found support here at the 20 exponential. Uh, however, technical indicators are still very flat. So we could actually roll around the roll around and basically head towards the downside. But we have to break the 20 and the 50. And at the moment, the 20 is basically holding so the market were significantly affected today um, and uh, especially the tech uh, sector and also most of the commodities and some of it is basically due to us dollar rallying so let's look at oil so oil had a very strange day because we had uh, really bad news, which uh, should have made this market drop significantly, as uh, the storage in the United States is absolutely enormous. So, so the supply of of oil, well, it is basically enormous, and usually that means that prices should fall, but it didn't because people expect uh, OPEC basically to to cut production. So that news basically overshadowed the store the storage storage and um, we could see a lot of volatility if if um, OPEC doesn't cut in production and you still have uh, the massive amount of storage um, and then or the build up sorry then this could basically tumble really fast so so um, yes, the technical gears are fairly mixed. Uh, CCI is becoming becoming bullish. The uh, MACD, stochastic, are bearish, and the RSI is is uh, flat at this point. Twenty is holding. We're trading at sixty point ninety three at the moment. Break below the twenty, opens it all the way down to the fifty at around fifty four point seventy five dollars. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas uh, rallied towards uh, 2.88 and then fell apart again underneath the 20 exponential. And now it looks like we're heading back towards the 50. If we manage to break about the 20 exponential again, then we could head towards $3. But otherwise, at the moment, it is, well, fairly up and down. At the moment, it looks like we are creating a channel here. And that is fairly, a fairly bullish channel. So you can have it here. And we have additional around this area here. So it looks like we are trending towards the upside. The highs being this uh, re resistance channel here and the support channel. And we're basically at the bottom of this channel. But uh, so we have this resistance line acts as um, support and the 50 moving average. And so we need to break these two in order to go all the way down to the 200 moving average. Otherwise, we'll most likely rally back towards these highs. So it's going to be interesting to basically see. Technical indicators are more, well, basically all over the place. MACD is bearish, Sarcastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at copper. So copper fell and uh, it is about time that it fell because this was a fairly parabolical move to the upside we are still at 61 even though we had a massive fall today we're still trading about the 20 exponential and very far away from the 20 exponential technical indicators are turning around so this could be a hard drop towards the 20 and probably all the way down to the 50. so at this point i would just wait and see what basically this market goes so look at gold so Nobody's really interested in basically investing in gold at this current stage. So uh, you can look at, we have the very highs here, resistant line, and we have the bottom here. And as you can see, we have tested the bottom today. So if this breaks, then we drop significantly all the way down to uh, 1500. That is uh, um, most likely where we find uh, buyers come back in. That's the previous lows here. But this loss just looks dreadful for gold. Rally from here up towards the 20 exponential that will most likely be sold into as it has been for the past few days. But this is going to make or break gold. If this breaks, then this could be a hard drop to the downside. If you look at technical indicators, we are 
29. So we are oversold. So should expect a rally towards the 20 exponential um, before going lower. So we have the highs here. We have only tested it twice. And the very lows here, we have tested it three times at this current stage. So yes, gold is in a down um, downward channel at this current stage. And uh, yes, it will just go lower most likely. So let's look at silver. Silver as well broke below the 50 moving average. And we ha have done that several times in the past, but the 50 has been very supportive. So this is not a, not looking good for silver, and usually it's gold that uh, leads the way, but uh, and uh, it certainly has done as well in this case. So gold's going down, silver's going down, and most of the precious metals are basically going down. We uh, yes, if we break further from here, we can drop towards uh, twenty five dollars, and then probably the two hundred moving average at twenty. 3.87 dollars technical indicators are very bearish at this point so at this kind of stage i would just stay far far away from this because you can rally the upside you can drop significantly to the downside so let's look at platinum so we continue to drop we are just about the 50 moving average the last time we were basically close to the 50 moving average we had this massive rally so It'll be interesting to see where we basically go. We can look at the Fibonacci retracement for, for this, and we can see that we are just above the 50, 50, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, which is at 11.53. Technical indicators are still very bearish for, uh, for Platinum, so we could bounce from here. That is possible, but I would technically wait until we have a green candlestick here. The technical indicators turning around before... Uh, considering investing in this because if we break the 50 then we can drop significantly further so let's look at pallium pallium is uh, the same thing um, it is all over the place uh, at this current stage we have the highs here of 2.5 lows of 2.21 and now we're basically right in the middle of things um, i would not I would only where I would basically trade is basically at the highs where I sell or the bottom of the, where I basically buy. 200 moving average should also offer a lot of support at the moment. You're basically right in the middle of things and it's just a complete gamble to, to start buying into this or selling it because it can go either way. So let's look at aluminium. And uh, aluminium had an amazing run yesterday and today not so good. So... Uh, uh, we have been all over the place um, to buy at this stage we are where we are at 63 in the rsi is uh, very uh, very risky pullbacks towards the 20 that is probably the best uh, strategy to trade this at the moment as the 20 like, like this it has proven to be significant support and the same goes for the 50 so pullbacks will most likely offer a lot of uh, uh, will basically create a lot of buying uh, where people will enter at the, those points. Technical indicators otherwise are fairly mixed, uh, flat, otherwise uh, bullish, the stochastic and the MACD. But pullbacks towards the 20, that is most likely where people will start buying. So let's look at nickel. And this was a horrible one. So, gee... Yes, uh, we rallied up towards uh, 19,910 and now we're trading at 17,207. Uh, so, yes, this was a hard, hard, hard um, day for nickel. It's kind of difficult to say where we basically land for this because uh, we can look at a Fibonacci retracement, go all the way down here and look. So we crashed through the uh, 38.2. And we're heading towards a 50 at 16,893. If that breaks, we can go to the 61. We're at 16,207. And then the 200 moving average. It is uh, We haven't broke down like this uh, for a very, very long time. We have to go all the way back to these, uh, this fall, basically in 2000, the beginning of the pandemic. So, yes, this is... Uh, is a sign of this market being significantly overvalued and um, 
at the moment, technical indicators are still very, very bearish. There is a lot of room to the downside still, so we could head all the way down to the 50 or the 61.8 before turning around for this market. So let's look at sugar. Yes. Very similar thing here. We also fell towards the 50 and the 50 is holding. Technical indicators are uh, still bearish. Uh, so it'll be interesting whether or not we break through the 50. We did do that back here in December, uh, but this rally here was just, just fairly parabolical and this was always going to happen. It's just a good question whether or not we run we roll over here and head back to the upside or we continue lower. We could drop all the way down to 0 0.15 if we drop from here. So yes, break above the 20 exponential, that should be a sign that this is going to go higher. So let's look at cotton. So cotton had also a terrible day today. We found support at the 20 exponential moving average. Indicators are otherwise very bearish. A break uh, below the 20 opens the door to the 50 at 0 0.8285. So we'll see basically what happens here. Um, take out of these previous highs could open the door to these um, to these highs of uh, 0 0.9518. But uh, at the moment, it's looking very bearish for cotton. So let's look at cocoa. So yes, it is running, it's basically getting exhausted here. So uh, we have the highs of a 2.8 and uh, lows of 2.1, 2.2. And then we have this, this square as well. So we have the highs here at 2.6, give or take, and the very lows here at 2.3. At the moment, we're this is looking like an exhausted um, candlestick, and it will be fairly likely that we'll roll over here and head back to the 50, 200, and probably even lower than that. If uh, the 20 offers support, then we could go um, higher from here, make a higher low. Technical indicators are turning around, and so we most likely will see some downward pressure in the next few days. So let's look at wheat. So we found support here at the 50 moving average, broke down today. Most of the, the commodities and pressure metal broke down today. And um, technical indicators are still very bearish for this. So a break below the 50, that could open the door to these previous lows at 625 or even towards that 200 moving average. Rally from here could open the door towards 684. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.